So then, Super Auto Pets, a uh, new weekly. You always love it when you actually have, like, the weekly update on the Sunday. I know that's only not happened, like, once to me so far, but I just feel like I really hold under a grudge pretty freaking well, you know, if I do say so myself. So we have Suck and two cool guys. Cool guys wearing Fisher hats with freaking flowers on them. These are adorable. These hats are adorable. Big Fish Weekly. Has it always been a Big Fish Weekly? Is that, like, a known fact or just the fact that I got the fish makes it a Big Fish Weekly? Because, you know, I know the world doesn't resolve around me. Resolve? Revolve. But you could say it does, and I wouldn't fight you on that, you know? Ordinary tentacles, fishy whippersnappers, cruising ears. Well, there's the word fishy, and the word tentacles. Tentacles of a very specific fishy nature. I don't think there's literally anything that has tentacles if not fish. Or sea creatures. If they did, imagine something with furry tentacles. World, no, but the stream? Yes. Is this stream but a small world, you know? In terms of, like, everyone's individual perspectives, isn't everything you're looking at at this exact moment encompass your entire world at this exact time? I feel like that, like, kind of functions there. Octopus calamari is good. <laughs> yes, indeed. I, for one, um, have this icky pickiness when it comes to food that has a squishy texture, which is interesting because it means that while I love fish and flaky fish, like salmon and tilapia and stuff, I can't handle squid. And I've never had octopus, but I assume it's got the same sort of, like, kind of squishy, kind of, like, rough thing as squid, so I don't think I would appreciate it personally. And I've never had lobster or crab. Well, I've had fake crab. I think crab is probably good. It seems like it's mostly fine. But I love seafood when it comes specifically to, like, just plain fish. Yes? Okay, it is in fact a big fish weekly. Because they're simply giving them to me. You guys can get together because I- meh. I kind of actually should have put the fish together now that I think about it. That would have been a much better idea. I'm gonna do garlic press. You know what? I have never read what this is called. This picture, to me, has always been um, a pair of pliers. Like an industrial pair of pliers. This is a garlic press. Which is what it's called. That's insane. You can get up because this actually like matters. You get the garlic actually results in things happening. And you know what? This is stats better than rolling infinitely. We have two half level fish. Depending on whether or not bison's on the frickin menu. And I feel like he hasn't been on the menu for far too long at this point in time. We could be doing big fish strats. Is that what we're putting down here? Sir Roberts, are you trying to give me a little secret? Bison is on the menu. I have like a really random rule requirement when it comes to when I decide I will look at the list of animals. It's kind of just arbitrary. I think today is the time. Bison is on the menu, so is Hippo. Dopperman continues to exist. I don't know how he keeps making every single playset, but maybe because he's so balanced. He could go off or he could be just kind of lame. So they're like, you know what? That's a neutral dude right there. But we are doing bison strats. Salamander strats, also interesting. I feel like Salamander and Peacock might be two of the only tier twos, or three, tier threes in the game. Oh, turn. No, tier two. Tier two. I don't know. This confused me. I was like, turn one, two, two. Where did the tier twos go? Um, who are like run defining sort of things. Like the Peacock's even less so. The Salamander's ability to become great. I feel like, shouldn't he be a tier three? It just feels like he should be. I did not look ahead of time. More fun to watch fresh. <laughs> well, then you were just freaking lucky. It is, in fact, a Bison Weekly. We don't level. We could level. We could just buy this man instead, though. Is there honey on the menu? That's the real question. Why even consider large fish when you could have... Look at all the levels. Okay. Next turn, we're going to have three chances to get the Bison and one fish who would love to be friends with him. So I feel like it's going to be a pretty nice and delicious time. Party. <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits, Tony. Thank you, thank you. It's in celebration of there being Bison. I bet it is. You don't have to- you don't have to describe it. I know it's because of the bison. It's everyone's favorite dude. He's cool, he's hip, he always brings, like, extra drinks to the party. Even when he was only supposed to be on bringing dishware, he still brings sodas. To be fair, everyone brings sodas, so we've kind of just got, like, too many sodas, but still. And scaling. Wow, it's crazy. This team has dudes who are not in the original two packs. However, it just feels classic to me. We're looking at a classic setup here. I can't help but notice that none of the things so far have had a bison in them. There's the bison, and he's trading with a penguin, which is very unfortunate. The additional unfortunate thing is I don't know if I want to get rid of anybody. I mean, mm, I, not for the bison, because he's not even able to be used today anyway, but you know what? This is good, dude. You're a good dude. I don't, I don't hate you. 
But I need this penguin here today. If this hedgehog and this fish do not get fed this very day, they will riot and leave the team. They are incredibly impatient. I should know they wrote it on their resume. Kind of like in a video game when everyone has to write down all the cool things about them, but they have to have at least one like horrible thing. Ant farms always do that, oxygen not included. Because are we not human without having some sort of a fault? I mean, the fault cannot be I try too hard. I try so hard sometimes that I make myself cry because I'm so stressed out, but I love working. That is not a valid thing to say, I would say. As your biggest weakness. You could leave, but you guys could also just get together. I'm gonna buy him just right off the bat. I just trust him, which is something that always is something I regret doing. No, I never regret anything. How could I regret everything when everything I do is amazing? Booyah. Are we human or are we dancers? Tiny Dancer is the first song that goes to my head with that, but come on. I don't know any lyrics. That's one lame thing about having 0% knowledge of like pop culture is that on one hand I do, but mostly through the format of like memes and crap. But on the other hand, I know a lot of song rhythms and very little lyrics of anything. So I am constantly caught with just like singing a song with words I made up and the people being like, that is not, that is not at all the words of that song. And I'm just like, I freaking no, shut up. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. I can be musically engaged without like knowing the correct things to do. I'll level this guy tomorrow because I can, but not because I want to, but because I can. Welcome, welcome. We are doing the freaking bison dude strat. It's the best thing ever. It's the best thing in the universe, except for the fact that bison is actually like freaking nerfed at this point in time. So sing the song from your soul. Yeah, my soul song is basically the same words on repeat or slightly jumbled. So my soul song is repetitive, but gosh darn, ain't it me? Am I not in myself kind of repetitive? <laughs> Victory for me, and no losses, and basically no losses because I started with four health. They had to nerf me from the beginning of the game because I knew I was so freaking strong and amazing that they should start me on four health, so I basically have lost nothing. That's how this works, yes? I don't even care about the chicken. I don't want him because I think him and him are more statable. I could kill you, but that doesn't do anything. I was like, what if I just freaking killed you? That, that does nothing. I could take the chicken today and put him up front because kind of just in a whatnot sort of fashion. I don't believe in chicken. Is it a tier five? That just seems ridiculous to me. In what in what world is him like something who's going to save anybody's life? Okay, question though. Yes, 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 yes. There is food scaling, which is valid. The problem being... As always, it only exists apparently at the end of the game. The existence of pears is cool. Peach is cool too. They don't have any like rabbits. Why can't you give us food and rabbits at the same time? I know that happened all of last weekly, but I wasn't paying attention last weekly. I was too busy thinking about how colors are beautiful and I wish they could return to our life. Double garlic. Ooh, he's going level two lemur. Ooh, and it's working. Why is he so strong? What's happening here? Something insane is happening here? I didn't even- I wasn't touched by the- but I didn't look at that dog at the beginning of that fight and think, wow, he looks beefy. And yet he killed my whole team. However, hedgehog for the win. I would love to give you a bee, but they do not exist. I am so sorry, son. Oh, you know what's gonna be so cool? Once this guy gets to level 3, we can kick the fish off the team. And he doesn't even really want to be here, so it's not like a big loss or whatever. <laughs> For the freaking draw. And honestly, the draw is freaking amazing. I shouldn't have moved my fish so far back. I don't know why I decided to do that. Um, our front team is not super strong anymore. Okay, we have fish things happening. Bison got one kill. No, you freaking penguin having health and crap. I mean, it's not his fault. He lives in a cold place. He needs to absorb, like, he's a tank. Cold place, you need to have good constitution or whatever, so it's like, it was his destined plan. But you don't have to use it against me. Oh hey, it's these two guys. Okay, when they added anglerfish to the game, I thought it was piranha updated for way too long. And I was really confused as to why A, they thought this was way too strong, and B, why they made his ability completely unrelated from what it was originally. But they are in fact different dudes, they just look like brothers. They're just good old friends. They got the same haircut in kindergarten, so their teacher couldn't tell them apart, even though they look extremely different. He's so close to leveling it. I just wish I could believe in you. 
Penguin, penguin, skunk, tropical fish. You know what? I, fish or chicken or whatever, I think you've done me well. I'm gonna do this just to see if you give me another freaking penguin. Oh my gosh, which penguin though? Left or right penguin? Are we a left or a right Twix kind of dude? I don't really think I have much of a penguin. The word left feels more ladylike, I guess. So let's just be polite and get that one. You can leave and we're doing this. Please give me a hedgehog. I did have to remember what his name was for a second there. I, in fact, did forget. More sc this is too many dudes. It's a freaking lot of scaling. If only my one scaler could actually scale. Oh my god, he has to level too, because if I sell this fish, then nobody's getting all my sweet penguin buffs. This fish is getting so beefy. If he gets any freaking beef here, I won't be able to kick him off the team, and I just am really excited to be doing that at some point, so I would love for it to still be a viable option. I didn't know for the longest time that there's a difference between left and right Twix. There's a difference? Like, in the physical instructions or whatever? What, it, like, actually? It's not just like a mental game. Everyone, everyone is learning something new here today. Drop those sweet facts, though. Levels. Oh, you know what? I don't even need either of them to be level three, because guess what? I could have double penguin right now. Cat is decent, but I don't know if I want two dudes devoted to scaling. I don't even like Twix. Well, then you should, even more so than anyone else, know the difference, because it's easier to tell what you don't like about something than what you do sometimes, you know? It's very easy to be negative. It's difficult to be positive. So that didn't get us anything. That makes sense. I forgot that's how that works now. I will temporarily take this cat. But I would like anything that is better more, please. You can have sniping because, you know, what else are we going to give you? Are there protective gears? Onion? Oh. Interesting concept. There is zero protective gear this weekly, which is very rare. There's normally, like, at least garlic, if not lemon and melon. There's only stake. It's only damage. Does that mean that health is more important this weekly or less because everyone's going to have more damage? I heard left Twix has more cookie and right Twix has more caramel. Oh my goodness. Caramel is my freaking dessert. It's my favorite dessert flavor. And I will have to say Tom, Tom and Jerry's, Ben and Jerry's, the ice cream men, everyone knows and loves them. They are great. The company is very wholesome. They seem to only ever put caramel in one of their flavors if it's freaking salted. Like, it's always salted caramel. I'm like, I love caramel. I hate salt. Please stop, son. Oh, <laughs> Velva Rosa with the instant betrayal. The salted caramel is jank. Remove the salt from the caramel. I know that they need it because caramel is so freaking sweet that you, like, require a little anti thing there. Caramel or caramel? Caramel. I say caramel without the double A, but I feel like car caramel just sounds too fancy. And in my brain, it's mostly just kind of like a junk food. You stick an ice cream, which you eat, and be like, wah. I spent $7 on this tiny little this size thing of ice cream. So maybe not a huge positive or very fancy, but Ben & Jerry's is pretty fancy itself. It does have an active pronunciation, and one of those is correct. <laughs> which one? We may never know. You have a melon? Whoa, okay. New information here. Ox? with any sort of an ability to have melon is instantly cool. Oh my god, anyone who has anything. Doberman? Still hard to get off the ground, but if you do this weekly, he, he cannot be beat. And Ox, which is like a tier 2, a 3. Yep, you know, that's, that's gonna freaking do it. Ox is freaking terrifying this weekly. So I want him to leave so that he stops taking all my scaling. But somebody else needs to scale for me to think that's worth it. You know what, for a crocodile? I just really- this is like actually not a good idea. I just really wish somebody on my team could get to level 2 so that my penguin's not wasting his time. Nobody needs to move. That's not a level 2. In fact, I don't even want this. I just want chocolate so freaking bad. I'm not even gonna commit myself to the stake. Okay. The team has gotten approximately 40 stats worse than it was a second ago. I'm not going to claim that that was like a, a chill thing for me to do. Is fine. Is fine. My cat has a weird amount of attack. When did that happen? Oh, it's just because of the oranges. The oranges for the win. We survived. That is actually on. I'm surprised. I know which. I'm just not an elitist who cares enough to correct people on word pronunciation that has colloquial changes. Honestly, mad respect. I, for one, say things wrong all the time, so I am a heavy victim of people who do be doing that all the time. 
but maybe you know maybe in this in this fun little little chat i would i would appreciate it you know what we'll, we'll see which one is correct i feel like it can't be though i feel like there's just so many people who watch it either way you know like it's a half and half sort of thing that is there a correct yes yes It's crazy how much health this cat got all of a sudden. Because here's the issue. I want to level someone. Someone should get leveled. We are in agreement to this. I want this snake. The snake is God. Snake is God. God has always been snake. Bison, my old friend. He's here. He's here and he's here to stay. <laughs> so like I want to ditch someone for the snake. But everyone is doing a thing. Like I can't get rid of Hedgehog. He's been an old time friend. I've known him since high school. Cat just got here, but gosh darn, look at that frickin' health. That seems pretty, pretty tasty. How can I get rid of that? The crocodile, I like the least, the, like the least, but he's already half leveled, which feels like sad. I'm gonna give this to him. It's a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. All right, let's get past that now. There's a lot of anglerfish happening. You know what? On the off chance these anglerfish, no, that doesn't make any sense. I'm stupid. Oh, frick. I was thinking on the off chance these anglerfish give me cats because for some reason my brain said they're going to give me a copy of something I already have and not the enemy. I don't give a crap what the enemy has. Oh, spicy. No, you stupid melon maker. He's too strong. Penguin ain't doing much, isn't he? Technically, he's a level three, so he's helping him, but actually he's helping him. So in that terms, do I want anything? They had a cat. All right, sweet. Give me a cat. Thank you. Which wow. Give me a cat, please. Hmm, I could use for some cat. You suck and I hate you, waste of my money. Hmm, I would like you to actually get good, so I will enable you for one second. Trumpets with a decent scaler, not that bad. More cats. I do want to do that, but I'm a little afraid a second cat today is not going to be in our best interest. Okay, the goal. Survive. One turn. I can live today. I get a level 2 crocodilla and some scaling tomorrow. The enemy, you're not allowed to have an ox. I hate the hippo. Could you please remove him from my sight? Thank you, I appreciate the effort. This was perfect. That was not perfect. That didn't matter that much. Our hedgehog has like a crazy amount of stats, doesn't he? Like, doesn't he have like a weird amount of health? You have 40 health. Has my scaling really done that to you? Have I really done this to you, son? I'm so sorry. Well, look, more cats. Okay, you know what then? We have space for the snake now. But... Even more than- a, I was thinking, you know, like, get second cat, then use pair. Super cool pair. But I kind of want the snake today, and I only have enough money to do one of these things. We're gonna go big this guy. I trust him to finish off his, his scaling by himself, and from today on, the snake gets all of my love and affection. The hedgehog is the oldest child, and he will always be respectable, but this snake, with his cute little hat, his coloration is brighter than anyone else. So cute. So fun. This man is strong. Ooh, perfect. Perfect boy. How can you say no to the eldest child? He's, he's so strong. He's so reliable. I trust him to watch all of his siblings, even though he himself is a child. So I'm kind of like offloading a load that I took onto myself. Onto him as the eldest child. Have some cheese? Sure, why not? There's no reason not to do that. Besides, I could like spend my money on a cat today, which is like a thing I want to do. But like, there's no reason not to buy cheese, though. Jeez, didn't hurt anybody. Ooh, is this gonna kill me? No, now it definitely is. At least I killed him. You need to- somebody- my front line needs to like get hit more than once so that I can actually utilize his abilities. Spicy? Spicy? Suck. Okay. Steak is an incredible food. In the real world or in the game? Doesn't even matter which way you answer, it is quite nice. It's crazy how, like, steak, even unseasoned in the real world, is, like, pretty great. Like, seasoned, obviously, with stuff is amazing, especially salted. It's great. However, on the other hand, chicken, if you just cook it straight up, like, just straight up baked chicken, smells like, like, I don't know, smells like farts. I don't know. Chicken just has, like, a distinct kind of grossness to it, unless it's well made. In which case, it's amazing. Like, chicken is like such a classic thing that you'd think it would smell good by default. It does not. It needs help. 